the cocktail, welcome to Cocktails with Tina J. I'm Turquoise. This is my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today our topics are T.I. and Tiny being accused of running a sex trafficking ring. Kiki Wyatt and her negative comments about the black community. NFL player Chad Roller's arrest. Wendy Williams and her documentary and movie. And then The Little Woman of Atlanta, their premiere. Um, so we're going to give people time to actually join us. So we're going to wait a few minutes. Well, while we're waiting, I do want to say, um, unfortunately this week, Cicely Tyson passed away. Um, make sure you please, you know, rest in peace. Yeah, she had a long, good life. I watched her documentary on Oprah. Oh, it was, it was beautiful. I push records on this. Y'all want to see it. She was an amazing actress. She was amazing. She's a legend. And she, legend. she was blessed to live to be what? 96. Ooh, I hope I live. body of work that can't be outdone. You know what she's saying, what I love? She never did a part that she didn't agree with. And she said she never she degraded always, herself. Yeah, she said she <laughs> always felt that part she did. Oh, it was just beautiful. It mm -hmm. was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, she so made good. me start being more here. Yeah, but 96. I did. That's okay. good. 96 Second is great. Mm -hmm. And the thing I do want to say that irritated my soul, honestly, is a lot of people uh, was saying, why are everybody so sad? How long do they expect her to live? And things like that. I'm like, first of all, it's sad when anybody died, no matter their age. I mean, we don't expect anybody to live forever. Yeah. But just when it happens unexpectedly, it's, it's still sad, you know? Yeah. So... Um... Do we have people joining in yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get started. So, T.I. and Tiny are being accused. Well, there's allegations of them um, sexually abusing what was like about 14 young women. Something like that. And the lady that made these allegations, I think her name is Sabrina, which I hate to, to put out there, but Sabrina Peterson. Um, apparently, T.I. pulled a gun out on her before. Um, and she's been saying this stuff for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was reading that report and said she's been accusing them of doing stuff for, to her and other females for 10 years. And so my um, thing about it is why not say something sooner? Um, but also, Shekana Joe, who's Tiny's friend, and Tiny made this, you know, came out and stated, well, if T.I.'s such a bad guy, why do you want him to be with your kids? There's videos of him play fighting with her kids, stuff like that. And I just feel like, Maybe she was scared. Maybe she was intimidated. You know, uh -huh. like, like maybe she just was not comfortable with saying that at the moment. I don't know, but bullshit. It's, it's disgusting. That's what I say, I, I that's, say that's not yeah. true because one thing about it, if he was abusing her, you're not gonna bring your kids around for them to be abused. So that's I, true. I don't believe her. Yeah, you just don't yeah, take the abuse. If you don't, if you scared, oh, I'm scared. I ain't gonna bring my kids. I'll just deal with it. I'm not gonna get not, my kids involved. Some people are not intelligent. Well, she's not intelligent then. I just find, I mean, and as much as you know, I'm a firm belief, uh, believer in believing women with uh, accusations such as this. This just seems really suspect to me that she would come out with this now, and all of a sudden, all these women out of nowhere. Like using, 14 of them. Yeah, I'm like, but why didn't they get on the news? But no, say, uh, say it then. Why didn't they say something when he went to jail? You know what I mean? I would have been yeah, like or, helping them with the case. Hey, not only is he whatever he did, he did this to me or he did that to me because you had a better chance of them believing you. It almost sounds like something happened within the recent time where she maybe didn't they didn't give her no money yeah she didn't get mm -hmm. something that she wanted mm -hmm. and so she's doing this out of spite yeah that's what it seems like that's what but i'm gonna reserve my judgment because you know i don't know them like that i just mm -hmm. think it's suspect it's very suspect it is because i would have been like when he got in trouble i would have told him because he was already in trouble 
Right. It would have helped her and the 14 other people. Hey, we can come out now. Ain't no reason to be scared because he's yeah. going to jail anyway. Right, right. I agree with that. And apparently uh, they have given women STDs because they were having like threesomes and it's just a lot of information. But I do remember back in the day, like Tiny and T.I. would have threesomes. It was very to him cheating on her. At least she was she involved. was there and involved. Yeah, yeah. Forget that. You got so, all three. I don't know. I'm not saying it's do, true. Do. I'm not saying it's not true. Because I don't know either parties to make a judgment. But it, it all just seems kind of. It's all I suspect. Suspect. It's I all suspect. know. You mentioned earlier that you think it's a publicity study. And that's what it seems That's a horrible like. publicity yeah. study. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just yeah, weird. Because it kind of it came out of nowhere for one. And for two, it almost seems like. Because <laughs> initially she should, hadn't have said all of that. She had said that uh, T.I. put a gun to her head, mm -hmm. and then it turned into all of this other stuff. You I'm like, what? okay. I just want to say, I know he's small. Dude all. said your hair is nice. Thank you, dude. No, I know he's nice. Hey, dude. Hey. Our brother. Yeah, son. thank you. <laughs> but I know he's small and all, but I don't think he had to put no gun in to her head because he could have sick Tiny. Like it sounds like she yeah, wanted to be around. Fine. She, can't she don't have right. to. Both of them could have walked. She can't be on the motorbike. All the girls had to do on the motorbike. But it don't <laughs> matter because both of them together could have beat her up for sure. That's just, I just think it's weird. It's just very weird. It's a hot mess. But I like them. I like I, I, the show. But you I know what? Like T.I. might be a little weird because he used to take his daughter to the guy, gynecologist and see if her hymen was still intact. Yeah, everybody keep blaming him for that. That stage is he over. He did it. He though. messed up, but people mess up in life. You guys don't ever There's forgive no second him. Chances. It is second, second chances. chances <laughs> so you're like, fuck them second so chances. So, I mean, you never know. Somebody can put on a mask and I'll meet the COVID. Yeah. They can have a full That's mask true. on. That's true. I yeah, just never know. Yeah, that true. goes by him, people. Tiny, and the girl. You know, they're yeah, all for exactly. anybody, too, yeah. for your family, yeah. everybody. So moving along, because I don't know much about them, but I think that Dad was a, said your hair is beautiful. Daddy, hi, Daddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Very, like, hey, Daddy. That's my daddy. Very hi, like daddy. needy, didn't it? <laughs> I did. Thank you, thank daddy. Very needy. Thank you, uh, thank daddy. <laughs> I think you're just on the thing, but, but um, Kiki Wyatt, no. so she was doing a, I guess like a live with Christopher Milan. Milan, who's from Love and Hip Hop, or Milan, I don't know, I think it's Christopher Milan, and um, she's biracial, she makes a look African American, black, and white, and I don't know how I got even into this whole t subject, I didn't watch it, but I did see her making comments saying how black people aren't the only ones oppressed and <laughs> other ethnicities, racists that were that are and have been depressed. And uh, the thing I didn't like also that the comment that she came in is she was kept saying uh, sweets and sugar. I took that to offense because you know kind he's gay, but he's also gay. So I was like, is she so something down to, to him? Yeah, she was you know, in a sweet. sense. But you watched the full video, Nancy. Tell me everything that she said, because I didn't want to deal with oh, you. Oh, there's so much to unpack in that. Like, and it truly, like, I was really, really pissed off at that. Because, one, I hate why are, I hate how people gaslight black people. Whenever people want to talk about uh, stuff that black people go through, they always want to bring up somebody else or the whataboutism or whatever. Like, that, that seems to only be done to black people, and I cannot stand that, for one. And for two, Black people have never said that we were the only people that were oppressed. Nobody has ever said we were the only ones oppressed. That second. But then, what she said was problematic because for one, nobody is saying that biracial people haven't gone through stuff or that light-skinned black people haven't gone through stuff. But to say that you were oppressed because a little girl at the playground didn't play with you because you weren't black enough, she that's, a little, that's not she oppression. She probably didn't play that's with her. She probably have a bad attitude, which yeah, but, we yeah, can tell. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's, that's, not, yeah. Oh, that's not oppression yeah. for, first and foremost. But then for her to be...
her freely. And then while she's highly talking to highly inappropriate. And then on top of that, while you were talking to this man, after you wouldn't even let him get out of his point, like as soon as he starts talking, you talking about some uh all, life ain't all about being black and all this other bull crap. And then you said, I'm sorry, but then the sh that's the Shaquita come out of me. Some stereotypical angry black woman trope you saying it came out of you. The bad part of you was the black side of you. And my mom made a good point this morning. What did you say, Mom? Why can't she be a Karen? Yeah, yeah. why can't that was the when Karen in you? Why she can't heard. be a Karen when you mix? Why it always gotta be black? Because it, it's always the mix, black that's yeah. wrong. Okay, yeah. so we're the bad well, that's, side. Yeah, and I then crazy. what's even crazier about it is you're talking about, you know, you're oppressed because you're biracial. You're oppressed because you're literally half of what I am. So that proves the point. Was so that that you you all, be, you're you're oppressed really? because you're half of what I am. Yeah. Yeah, and black people aren't the ones out here oppressing you. It just was all the way wrong. Kiki pissed me off, and I was a huge fan of her. And as a matter of fact, it's black people that started your career. Mm -hmm. You have black fans. You mm -hmm. are a star because you're black, the black community. Mm -hmm. Nobody said when you came out with that beautiful voice, she does have a beautiful voice, and said, oh, that mixed girl. Nobody said that. Mm -hmm. Nobody said that. The black community made your career. You got a lot of fucking nerve gaslighting black people. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing she did mention was the Jews, you know, Jewish people. Mm. She said it was <laughs> oppressed. Which I I agree with. Um, we're not the only ethnicity that have gone through things. But again, like my mom mentioned earlier, it wasn't in America. Not acknowledging it. Yeah. But, but if we're talking about us as a community, why is it wrong? You know, like Why are you always bringing up other communities? Yeah, like when, yeah. when people talk about the Holocaust, you never hear, well, what about the black people? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever says but that. But I do agree that that was a, a terrible situation. Yeah, it was. The it Holocaust was, was yeah, awful. Because I have, I'm, I'm not this. I have a cousin that's Jewish, you know, so, you know, he feels some kind of way. I don't know, you know, I feel bad for this. But you're but not going to gaslight him and tell Yeah, but I feel bad. Right worse yeah. for us. But, but Jew, I'm going, I shouldn't say a Jew, but it's a Jewish, Jewish person, person is speaking to me about the Holocaust and their people. I'm going to say, well, you know what? Yeah. We're oppressed too. Like, yeah. I'm not going to just dismiss You're going to listen. I'm going to listen. And then what they got to say. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. I'm going to have, I'm going to emphasize with them. Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I understand I'm, I can put myself, I can't, I wasn't literally in slavery, but my ancestors were, so I can understand. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I just. Kiki, girl, you and your kids. No, kids Kiki, go Kiki. right? Don't well, take care of them kids and stop kids. it. Stop it, that girl. Was, that was all the stop way. Stop it. Now you made everybody like, upset. Like, not only did you gaslight this man, you she was so said, "Oh, you brought the Shaniqua out in me." That really pissed me off when she said that. But so the angry black woman trope, really? That's the bad part of you is the black side. I didn't told you. Okay. They brought out. They brought out Karen. Yeah, I agree with that. And how can you let? How can you? I don't care what it is your mom. How can you let her say Ooh. the N word? And then you know, like, mom, you know why the kids wouldn't play the she, she was raised around. But black wait a minute. Kids. Okay, she was no. raised around black kids. If your mom calling you a nigga, she calling them little black kids a nigga. They ain't gonna be around you. But how? I mean, and I don't know the family dynamics. I don't know how they do things. But would, would you feel okay with her calling your kids the N word? You know what I mean? Or did she just say it to her? She said her call her. Hey, she, yeah, she clearly would be okay with it because she. I said think it that's was okay why they didn't play with you, Kiki. But that's why. But I'm saying because you're problematic. But I'm saying for her to say to her kids may be a different situation because her kids are really all the way black. And no, because I'm pretty sure but her then, fathers are black. But then she shouldn't get mad at black people for feeling a certain kind of way. That's what makes me mad when they mix. They always got some kind of excuse. I'm mixed. Well, I, I mean, like, it's black like, people I get like y'all like the white like people don't like it. It's working because she just texted me. It's working. Uh, it looked like it is, but um, that's the thing. I'm not trying. I would never invalidate a person mm -hmm. who's mixed feelings, but this is another thing. Like, if you have this, why you should mix race. But if you, but if you have the ability to decide to not yeah, identify as black, true. then you're not black. Mm -hmm. If you have the ability to make a choice mm -hmm. to identify as black or not, then you're not black. Because I don't get to decide. I can, mm -hmm. I can say I identify as this and that and the other, but when people identify me, when they find me, they're going to say that blackly. Mm -hmm. I don't have the ability to just choose to be black. I don't have that ability. And what's wrong with being proud that you're... What happened to like James Brown said? Say it loud! 
I'm not working out proud. proud. Nobody ain't like that no more. But I will tell you this, Cicely Tyson, that's why the generations are so different. They don't know what people went through mm -hmm. to get us to this point, our ancestors. Oh, it was so beautiful. Everybody should watch that because she tells you why the generations is like it is now. They mm -hmm. feel like the young people don't know, you they know, don't. how bad it was they and don't. how they struggled to get us to this point. Police, police brutality. Yeah, yeah it bad. was terrible. You know, and, and, and a lot of people don't know. And it, it's true what she said. The only way you know about history is to learn it from your ancestors. Yes. That's so, the wisdom you can't buy. Right. Somebody that lived right. Right. That book, lived it. That's right. Why I altered it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because Alan used to tell us some stories, she you did. know, and she we did. pass it on to y'all. I don't know if y'all yeah, told y'all kids, yeah. but whatever. I, I, but I that's the best the way. Used to tell us. You know, that's the best way. So, Kiki, go on with your 10 kids. You are dismissed. Yeah, that really surprised me. I'm surprised. And I she, she, she saying she mixed, but when she was on that R&B, R&B Divas, she never said she was mixed. <laughs> I mean, she's sitting up there crying with the black girls. The black girls is coming over there helping her. I never seen her white mom. She might have been on there, yeah. but I never paid attention to that. But that's and because I, it's not true. Like uh, this is a, a good point that you're making. Like she's surrounded by black people. Like I mm -hmm. told you, it was the black community that made her famous. How are you gonna turn around and say we're the ones who oppressed you? I watched. We're on the that ones show. who didn't stunt to you. That. You're surrounded by black people, mm -hmm. and you're where you are because helping of black her and talking to her because she was a hot mess on that show. And then yeah. not trying to contradict myself, so I do say day outside your race, day whoever make you happy. But I feel like. You just can't Some, be around the ignorance. Clearly, she well, wasn't raised by somebody. Well, that yeah, was. like mixed kids are really confused. Not, not trying to be disrespectful. Not trying to be rude, but they're confused. They don't know what they, they don't fit know. In. Yeah, they don't but know. you know what? I would so, tell you what I would do if I was mixed. I hang with the white kids, and I'd hang with the blacks. Hang with everybody. If they felt like they didn't accept me, mm. you know what I mean. You have to move on. I wouldn't. Yeah, I would be angry. You know, but I'm just saying you have to try. You just have to try. Depending, you know, I don't know. I'm just glad I'm black. Bye, hee hee. Um, so Chad Willer, who is part of the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks with Russell Wilson, Sierra something. Oh, that's what's her name? Sierra. I like. Um, so he is six foot. Seven inches, three hundred eighteen pounds. Um, a, a white man mm. who has a African American girlfriend, a black girlfriend. Don't tell and he me. he beat her to the point she was unconscious. Oh, she mm. choked her out. And he oh, like he literally. Wow. He, you see the pictures of her? Like he yeah, beat her. That's not yeah, just a choke. No. Like she had bruises no, on her he, face. He, uh, she said that when she woke up, he was like, "Oh my God, you're still alive." Yeah, like he, oh, he, he tried eating, to kill her. her. He was eating dinner. Yeah. And said to her, "Oh, you're still alive." Oh wow. But um, I'm not he sure. He should go for attempted murder. Oh, he yeah. got arrested. Yeah, he got arrested. He, but he's been arrested. You see all the people that's been arrested from that riot and how many people got to go home? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I talk about this all the time. I need to take my TV off of CNN. I mean, yeah. But go back to angry. what y'all talking about. It do keep me angry. You and Nisa and y'all CNN. Girl, I'm I like taking to my TV off. But, uh, like, this was horrible. You know, he deserved, the like, pictures he, the brutal. pictures were yeah, brutal. You just showed me that sad. Mm -hmm. it, it was, this is, uh, it, this happens a lot. And it seems like the conversation seems to be online is they're making it about race when really it's not a race thing. Because we just saw a woman get beat up by three black guys for not letting them buy her alcohol a week ago. No, buying her sure. some alcohol? Yes. That would happen, buying, not buying her alcohol? Yes, because they offered to buy her alcohol and she was like, no, remember we talked about this. Okay, so they were, were they ever caught? Arrested? No, those men have not been caught. Because they can't identify they, them? They can Once identify they identify them, they're going to get like the punishment to the full extent. 
Are no, but this, I'm but, sure but no, the point I'm making is, is that because people are actually saying, oh, uh, why don't y'all have heat for this man like y'all had R. Kelly and uh, Bill Cosby? I'm like, why are y'all bringing up Bill Cosby and R. Kelly? Like, they're broken they too, aren't they? Like, yeah, they, they're saying, uh, why aren't y'all as angry about this as y'all were about this and that? I'm like, but why aren't y'all talking about this? I'm like, you said R. R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Yes. yes. They black. Yes. He white. No, they're, they're saying that we gave, we were more mad at R. Kelly and them than we are at this dude. No. Like, half of us didn't even know who the hell he was. And then we heard him. And, and we were disgusted. And I, you know what? I ain't even mad at R. Kelly or Bill Cosby because I felt like if they was doing something, people should have said it way back then. Don't wait 20, 30, 40 years and do something to somebody. But as far as him, I'm mad as hell. <laughs> but what can I do? You know, yeah. I'm mad. Because yeah, like, I really like, think that's what like, We don't work at the no, courthouse. No, 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 no. What really makes me mad. Well, I agree along, you know. But right. 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 what right. really right. makes right. me mad right. is I don't think he's going to get in much trouble. That's oh, what's making me mad. I think he will. Definitely. I hope so, Nisi. I think he will. I think he will definitely. Because he messed her up. He messed her up pretty bad. Yeah, it was, it was very awful. And then people are saying, like, it's not being broadcast on the news reports. Like, we see it on, yeah. well, I seen Wendy Williams talk about it, and I think we saw it on CNN. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't see it on CNN. I did. I did. I was remember being in I guess she was in my room. But, but yeah, yeah, I've seen it everywhere. Yeah. So what are y'all talking about? It's I, not being, it's, it's, it's not on the news. It's not being broadcast. It yeah, it is. Well, and it's horrible. It's and horrible. And there's no need to. There's no, but there's but a, you know what? There's no need to Why don't they give him some pills and let him take drugs and shit like that to stop him from jumping on people? Like they be doing these little kids trying to have them sitting up looking like zombies because they say they bipolar. Give him, the, give him some medicine. He the one needed. He the yeah. one jumping on women. Yeah. I think he uh, wasn't taking his medication for a few weeks. But that's what the girl said. Yeah. Well, she should be shamed because I have <laughs> made him take. Boy, you ain't taking no medicine. I'm leaving. Him. Okay, I left. He got enough money. She could have got a hotel. She I probably didn't know. know that he was oh, she knew. That. I didn't know. She told him to take that medication. Because you know what? Well, I always mention my job, but I work in the, the industry to where we work with mental illness. I bet they don't and miss their medication. They don't miss their medication <laughs> but there are moments where they are triggered, have behaviors so you can turn it around. So then she thought she could turn it around. You know what Without I mean? Without medication? No, but some people think that though. Like I'm telling you, for my job, you have to have a certain way with words. To make the person think that you're on their side, you know, you're agreeing. You've been doing that for what, six years? She ain't over, in that field. Over. She is not it's product five. seven. She ain't in that field. You okay. Over <laughs> okay. Oh, she don't know that. But well, I'm just saying, maybe she thought that. But you she, know what? You know, you never know the, the whole saying, story. I feel bad, but that's why I. You can't trust no That's why I care. Yeah. I like to cut. Because I don't want to hurt you. Said that's you. why I like to cut. I don't yeah. want you, though, if you try to hit me. Don't hit me. I, I haven't given anything about to her, you. Her, and her trustee. I'm wife. sorry. I haven't uh, given anything to yeah, you. Please. Mama. I will cut you quick. You got to defend yourself. That's I mean, why you will. You will. But this man is six feet. That's, that's why you cut him. That's exactly why you cut him. 318 pounds. You ain't going to be able to handle that with you. All she had to do was keep this much. He would have walked into it. I cut him for like a scratch. No. You stay sick of you see how big that son of a bitch is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. She could have shot him in each toe. That probably would be like shot him in each toe. She needed her little shoot the She would be able to get after him. And then he said yes, he wouldn't have been able to play ball no more. He yeah. wouldn't have never messed with another one. He wouldn't have been able to play ball from short now. Well, yeah. she, he he would have been sitting in the hospital instead of her. <laughs> right, right. I That's can't play I ball. So no the more. I should be never put Not saying that water. men are stronger than women. Just saying like they that are. probably would have been a stretch. Men are stronger than women, and that's why you need a weapon. It depends on the man. Yeah. It doesn't matter. A skinny man is stronger than no. Remember the woman. Oh, mom. Two examples. Matt. Antoine. What happened to him? He got dragged. And remember that video of that lady dragging that dude to the streets? That oh, that lady. Yeah, that she was so big. Yeah, and my mom, Antoine is, is tiny. He was like, give it to him, give it to him. He went to school the next day like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, not because he was black, because he 
because he couldn't But you know what I will say? <laughs> and Twan was doing this. He was never trying to hit me. He was just doing And who's this? this? Psh, flying through the screen door. Boom. <laughs> but you strong, mom. I ate. I prayed. I prayed. <laughs> God help me because I got so many kids. I just prayed. Help me because I got so many kids. I mean, they be all trying to jump on me. I'm a, strong, little, I'm a little innocent woman. Oh, that's your daughter playing that card. <laughs> Maurice with that car that time. Yeah, I remember when you chased Maurice down. Maurice was, he was mobbing. Hey, if Maurice was, was like, mobbing. I was mobbing too. I was going to run his ass. Oh, Maurice was mobbing though. He, he was, was like, mom, she, she got the car. <laughs> okay. So I don't think guys are strong, physically strong men. Not but you gotta think of it, y'all. They guys lift weights. They so work out. Women so there are women. Uh, men lift weights. But I don't lift no damn women. weights. You don't live no weight and you don't need, you might not the car off my little dumb bitch. Five pounds of so in the middle of the world. Look at me, I'm crazy. Look at me. Tell me you have to get them clients, but uh, I don't lift weight. So, and and I used to be in a weight training class and I, well, I didn't bitch more than that. That's why I'm going to take them down. Yeah! But Twan got the muscles. Do. Yeah, Twan got them muscles. Okay, moving along. Wendy Williams. Oh, her movie, oh, her lifetime movie premiered last night, and so did her documentary. That was good. Uh, it was. It was really good. I didn't watch the movie, but I watched the, her talking about good. it afterwards. The documentary, the movie, and I like, she did have some, like, open-ended scenes, but she addressed it in the movie. She was like, I'm skipping over this because, it, you know, it's not necessary, it's pointless. Like, she was married um, before, she married Kevin. She was married for like six months. Yep, she didn't put it uh, in the movie. And she addressed it in the movie. But uh, she was honest about her, you know, being on drugs, about her husband cheating on her. She felt that she deserved everything she was getting, like the miscarriages, her husband cheating, all that, because she talked about people's business. I don't, I don't think she deserved all that. Like, I actually felt bad for her. I did mm -hmm. too. I felt bad for her too, because like, she damn. cried. The whole time, I was like, this woman is gone. She's broken. She's like, broken. this woman yeah. is gone I think through it. Him cheating and having a baby. And then yeah. the girl I back. think, because, you know, I can't say just him cheating, because obviously he cheated on her. From the she city. said he was always cheating on her, but I think mm -hmm. it, she was hurt that she had the baby. Mm -hmm. But I think and another you thing is. And they had a little girl, but it doesn't hurt her, too. Yeah, the girl. Yeah. I think yeah. mm -hmm. him having a girl really hurt her. And, uh, how... I think what it is for Wendy is that sh this was like her whole life. Like he literally had her shut out people that was with her mm -hmm. from the beginning. Like he had her shun them for him. And then when she realized she he's the problem and he needs to let she need to let him go, she realized, you know, like, now I gotta fucking start from scratch because you done got rid of all of the people I had. But yeah. really, she didn't start from scratch because she didn't have to. The like, way from I scratch, took scratch, the, the whole like thing that's how she feels. was he was doing a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes. And nobody wasn't saying nothing. And then when she found out about that baby and she came on that show and she told her own business, yeah. from then on, everybody was cool she, with yeah, her. Yeah. Because she do like to tell everybody business. business. Yeah. It was only fair that she told she her said that she's like, I'm a she, said, she said, I'm a, she said uh, I talk about hot topics, so it's fair for people mm -hmm. to you know, want to know, especially with her being in the newspapers. You see how Suzanne, she was like, uh, she's going to have to address this. Yeah. Is she going to address this? She's, she has to address this. Mm -hmm. Suzanne. That is funny. I like Suzanne. And then she also uh, mentioned her movie, which I don't know who he is, but I remember his name. I don't know the song about her being raped by the rapper Ricky Tony or Tony Ricky. Oh, she, 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 she it said he was a one hit wonder. But yeah. I didn't know who she was talking that's about. She was I don't about. know the song. He's been dead forever. Don't y'all forget the three year thing. Oh, my question here, I, uh, got, I'm going to have to do the answer to the one from last week. We had one We can go person. ahead and um, do that. Was that, but what else you got? The uh, Little Woman of the Lamb Show. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. But, um, yeah, you know who Ricky Tony is from or Tony Ricky? I don't know this mm -hmm. either. I don't. Did she say the song? Did she no, she just said his name. We're going to have to Google. We should have Googled before we came on. She said, I'll say, like, his, I name. I'll say his name. I was like, please, say his name. But I didn't know. Because uh, when she did say it, like, the, his wife, the dude, wife, he was, she was like, why would you do that? Oh, because he passed away. Yeah. A while. Some, 
And then they we showed a picture on her show, didn't they? Of him? When he was younger. Probably I when think he did. When he did. did. I, think she showed I remember him seeing, seeing him in like a suit and tie. She just showed the, I thought it was the top part. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little drunk, y'all. I don't know. Yeah. Girl, she liked me last week. Who said that? Girl, she, she liked me last week. Girl. 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 What? Yeah, and um, it's almost gone. Yeah. And then Nisi and I was talking while I was watching the movie, and she was like, she just go sit there and wait to see what happens. Like, why don't she get up and leave? Remember, he was like, why don't she wait to see what happens? Because she said, yeah, she did. Yeah. She, I said, why would you wait? Yeah. She said she knew she didn't want to do no sexual uh -huh. activity, but let me see where this is going. Yeah. Like, why yeah. would you wait? She to have like, sex you knew you, she had a feeling that something wasn't right. She wanted to have sex. Said, Let's see, see where this is going to yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? doing no newscast. I think Wendy wanted That was kind of weird. I was like, why would you mm -hmm. wait? Like, yeah. use your instincts. Women, word of advice. Trust your gut instinct. If I you feel somebody off, leave. Bedroom, apartment, house. She's about I want to see where this is going. You end up getting raped, woman. Why would you want to see where this is going? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and then she literally for four months uh, got tested for AIDS. And yeah, because she didn't know. Because he, he, he didn't against her will. Uh -huh. She lucky she didn't get pregnant. She said, and then she even said that she the, did get pregnant. Not from that. She did. No, she didn't. She did. From the rape? She did, didn't she? No. I don't know. I didn't hear her say that. I, I swear, in the movie, she had an abortion. She. Uh, oh, is that where she had that abortion? Right. Had? Yes. She Remember, I didn't watch she had an abortion. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't, you only watched the documentary, not the movie. Okay. So after she she kept getting tested for AIDS and, and STDs, and then she's like, I, you know, the scene of her in the hospital. And she's like, and I found out I was pregnant by that motherfucker, and she. Oh, had for real. So she felt like all her miscarriages was her being punished. For I saw that part. We're talking about people That's too. She got pregnant from that. She didn't tell her family nothing. Like she went through that all by herself. She said. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's really sad how this woman carried two full had basically full term babies. She and miscarried at five months and had to birth them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like they they had she had to physically push like you would a real baby mm -hmm. if it was alive. Yeah. And, and and that's just so I could not imagine. I never went through that. I could thing. not imagine going that through that. That is all so my sad. That's and what, then um, that in is the movie, just so, that would destroy me to carry a baby for that long and, and then you have to and then you have to give birth like to another one that's not gonna live. Like, yeah, yeah, that's terrible. In the movie, she she mentioned that for one of the pregnancies that she had to push it out. I didn't know. Until she said for both. Of them. Yeah, to the documentary, mm -hmm. she did it for both, uh, which would make sense to me. Cause she was five so, so far along, yeah. yeah. And then what else? I think that was really it. Cause we all know her husband cheated and had a baby by somebody else. Oh, I, 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 I got a shout out to Char Lemaine because that's what he had been saying that for years. Because people was always asking. I mean, it's like, why you don't talk to Wendy Williams no more? Like, like y'all used to be so close. He's like, it's her husband. It's her. He husband. was like the should. It's nobody said because I'm saying this and nobody take it from me. He was like the should night of just regular people. <laughs> <laughs> everybody and this and that. He confronted Toto. Then he was at yep, Rio Station. They were trying to meet up. Yeah, Wendy, did you see on the movie? That's and funny. pull up and everybody, like, even the girl. That's funny how she said it was just done after that. They came yeah, to the like, 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 everybody thought it was just over how he pulled up at the exact time that they were there. You I think thought he that called was her husband, Kevin. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's, oh. that's, 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 that's what she was saying. That's what she knew. Oh, that's that's Oh, I thought y'all said that up. Charlemagne. Yeah, he was uh, like, no, but Charlemagne was, was right. He had been saying, okay, well, when he had been enjoying him know. and telling everybody you don't listen to him, he uh, was like, it's her husband. I'm telling you, it's not her. It's yeah. her husband. He's been saying that. Wendy is really a sweet person. She seemed like a, a very sweet person, yeah. a genuine person. Uh -huh. Yeah, like very open and genuine. Uh -huh. I, I, I have a lot. After watching it, I feel bad for it, but I have a lot more respect for it because I was like. Man, like she went through a lot. Yeah, she went through and a I lot. And I feel like no diss to her family, but they were harsh. Like, they were harsh. Called her fatter home every week. Childhood, yeah. you know, um, when she was at the birth, she went to a birthday party that she would never, that she said she'd never forget, and it kind of all full circle because she was playing with the cold chairs. She beat the girl whose birthday it was. She sat in the chair. The chair ended up breaking. Oh, no, wow. Yeah, I'm looking at her. That. Yeah, at the very beginning. Now looking at her, she's in a chair. Talking. You know, talking, hosting mm -hmm. her show. I was like, damn, her mom said to her, well, it's in the movie. 
And I was like, the mom all. and dad did say they, that. They even said yeah, yeah, it was a documentary part from us. She was fat. She knew she was yeah, fat. Yeah, right. to her. I was thinking nowhere. Like, I want to ask it to my yeah, daughter. That's a terrible thing. It's like you, and then for them, they said she used to manipulate the scale so that they she would tilt like it to a side yeah. so they couldn't see where it was. But the sad thing is, people have to realize God made big, little, small, yeah, or whatever. If everybody was the same size and look the same. It, the world would be boring. That's the same thing like I, I love the fact that the world is full of different colors, different cultures, different sizes. If we were all the same, life would be boring. I, I swear mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful thing that there's so many And then they people. actually screwed her over because she started getting lipo and yeah. now I feel like she's even more on proportion. You yeah, know, like she, she had a normal plants. sized body when she yeah. was a kid and heavy set and they called her fat. She's super then she thin. got the liposuction and the boob and plastic. Uh -huh. Now she's got a weird like a pea, stick thin. Like, like a pea shape. Yeah, she's got a stick thin uh, body but huge boobs. Oh, yeah, a pea shape. So where she would have been fine, she would have usually wanted bigger breasts, it would have fit her Because there was nothing wrong with her. Like when she was doing her radio show before mm -hmm. she did the surgeries and stuff, I was like, there was nothing wrong with her. I think she's really pretty, actually. Like, I was yeah, she was very pretty. Like, and I was like, yeah. she's really when she was younger, when she first started out. Younger, when she had the braids, though, she was like, she said, what? I shouldn't be on the air? Yeah, I was like, she's really pretty. She said that's <laughs> Um, mama used to say me last week. I was <laughs> last week. <laughs> um, you nauseous? I feel. She said I she felt nice. nice. Oh, uh, little women of Atlanta. <laughs> they we got through every topic. They had their premiere. Um, what was it, like Wednesday or Thursday? Um, rest in peace, Minnie. From, yeah, that was sad. Yeah, who was in a crash. Now, I keep hearing different stories. Either she was in a car and got into a collision with another vehicle, or she was walking and got hit by a car. But it was a car accident that she, you know. I don't know the details, but I just know what car was involved. Yeah. Well, oh my God, the show's a hot ghetto mess, like a beer. Oh, uh, that's the one with all the kids, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get your wine, girl. But that's the one with all the kids, girl. Don't say wine. Girl, this is cocktails. Cocktails is juice. Um, Avera. That's what she tells her daughter, y'all. On the... <laughs> her daughter ain't no dummy. <laughs> right. <laughs> on the premiere, or like the post reunion show, whatever it is, she Avera got into it with the little, the twins, Amanda and... I didn't even get to that part. Amanda and... Uh, this is before the, the episode you watched. Okay. I forgot the other twin name, but whatever. So in the episode, since the season premiere, she invited into the housewoman, her housewoman party. She invited everybody, and the twins didn't come. She was highly offended. So Juicy had like her launch for her eye, her um, eyewear, eyeglasses, sunglasses, whatever, and they had a fight. She keep calling them bobblehead, but she got a bobblehead. And why would she want them at her That's house? Like, and I didn't get. Like I'm like, you don't even like them. Why do you want them in your presence? That's and why your kids, your you know, in your house. And I thought that was really weird, but a bear ended up hitting Juicy in the hill with the glass she had to cut. I she saw that part. A, you did? I she saw that in mark. It, it started like that uh, before we watched that episode. We were watching. She said she still got a mark to this day. Juicy did, but she covers it up with makeup. And I was like, I'll be so pissed off. She hit her directly in the uh, head with that, too. Mm -hmm. I saw it. But I would say they all little women. Don't pick up no glass and throw it. I think she already had it in her hand. But put it down! Y'all gonna get in trouble. Those twins is annoying. They do it. They annoying, but why would you want to? You can't get mad at them because they didn't come. She does seem I like her kids. They didn't come because she's a bitch. Yeah. She act like a bitch toward them. I wouldn't have came either. Yeah, but her kids are dwarves though, especially her her kid that's little like her. Yeah, she's the only one of her kids that's little like her. And but she is so freaking cute. Like she was so excited to meet everybody, and she just seems so nice. Well, she should see how her mama is acting. Tell her mama. Yeah, she seems she comes off like bitchy because that was what she's like. Well, glad they didn't come. I was gonna pick them out anyway. Well, they knew not to come. Right. I felt like they shouldn't have came. I they don't. She don't like them. I would have stayed at home too. I agree. And what else happened? Money. Money. Money, ain't it? It's mm -hmm. money. Money. It's money, not money. Yeah. Cause she I heard you saying money. That's what they it's saying. Money. money. 
Is that the chef? The taller <laughs> one. This is the, the taller chef. one. Right? <laughs> that girl, Mimi, called, remember a few seasons ago, she called her Shaq. She said she was Shaq. Out yeah, because she, she is. She is a she tall. Big as hell for but she, she is a little person. She is she a little person. I, you can tell she's a little person, but she's tall as hell. And then, you know, what's funny is Mimi, like, just to keep accusing Mimi of uh, lying, well, was accusing her of lying about her health. And Juicy brought her, many brought her proof, like yeah, her, her, she brought her papers. papers. Yeah, her she papers. said, the papers, anybody can make papers. But that's the same so thing messy. that Monty or Money, whatever it did, to for uh, many, because many kept saying she wasn't a, you know, little mm-hmm. person. And she was like, here, mm-hmm. here it is. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. So, but, but they seem to be cool now. Yeah, but I was like, it's funny how things they, come around. Or, you know, I keep mm-hmm. forgetting, because like, she's still on the show, but because she hadn't passed on yet, but this is the one who passed on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's, a, it's a good show. Okay, do y'all trim be us so we can get out of here. We ain't got to go an hour, y'all. Well, it's a break. I'm, like, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, last week, the trivia question was, can you pull it up on your phone for me? Yeah. It was about the... Uh, the question was, name the band uh, group that named themselves after their hometown. The hint was that it was a area that had thriving black businesses. Uh, my dad got the answer, which was the Gap Band. It was the Gap, uh, stands for Greenwood, Archer and Pine, the cross streets from where Black Wall Street was. Mm-hmm. So my dad got that answer right. This week, um, the question is, name the flashy guitarist who went solo after being a guitarist for Parliament Funkadelic. That's this week's question. So you can put it in the comments. You can go to our page and put it in the comments. Uh, Give them a few minutes to see if anybody any, anybody, anybody that can get the it. answer right will be put into a drawing. We're going to give away a uh, gift card. Anybody watching? So you can see anybody. anybody. Well, I, I think, think it's just us. I think it's just us right now. But anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Too long on that. No, that's the no, thing. No, that's but anyways, you can post it in the comments. You can post it on our page if you watch the video <laughs> later. But the question for this week was, name the flashy guitarist who went solo after being a guitarist for Parliament and Funkadelic. There. Y'all make sure that y'all, look, I said it's a, a lot. I appreciate those that watch. But I'm not going to be begging nobody to watch. I'm not going to be tagging y'all on all of our live videos. Because I just feel like... It may help us, but to me it comes off as being a little too pushy with it. So if you like what and you like, and we like sitting videos, out here just talking shit. Anyway. We do we do this whether we're on camera. Or yeah. Not. yeah, we do it a lot off camera. Um, <laughs> but if you like our videos, subscribe to our our page, Cocktails with Tana J. Uh, watch the video comments. We do get a lot of views after you know when we're when we end. So and it's okay to watch it later. You don't yeah. have to be. We don't have to go live all the time. You know, sometimes I'll be needing to restart. Ah! Everybody feeling that juice. But thank y'all for tuning in. For those who did, thank you, Nancy, for tuning in. <laughs> You're welcome. To thank you, thank you ladies. Yeah. That's funny. Bea, and Bea is enjoying the heck out of that. Uh, well, because she keeps sending me screenshots. Oh. <laughs>